Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for some more American Truck Simulator. Once again, my name is Master S9886. Today, we have a very special load plan for you today. I'm not going to go into detail about the truck just yet. I'm going to pick up the load, and then we're going to see the exact truck and the look at it. So we're going to fire up the engine here. We have the load already designated for us and ready. They called us in to pick this one up for them. So we're going to make our way in there right now to pick it up. And I'm actually very excited for this load. It's going to be a very fun one to do. We're going to make our way over there. Track IR working. Hopefully it wants to work today. Not too sure how well it will be if we start getting problems. I'll have to switch over to keyboard again. But as you can see that we have a bit of an oversized load here. We're taking the cat dump trailer there. It's going to be a very fun one. So we are going to back ourselves up and get ourselves ready. We might have to do a reposition right here real quick. On the particular truck mod I'm using, it doesn't have advanced coupling, unfortunately. That's one thing I was hoping for, but we will back into it as if it is advanced coupling, and hopefully we hit it just right. That seems pretty good there, so we'll back up and line ourselves up just right, and I'm thinking I'm already going to get some problems here. So we're going to, yep, we're already seeing problems with the track IR so we're gonna have to look into that um, as I said I can't seem to figure out what the problems being caused by and we are there so we're gonna sit there now. and you guys are ready to see what we're going to be driving here we got a quad axle trailer here truck here with the cat skin got a 550 horsepower cat engine hauling a cat dump truck here and the thing I like about this run here we got everything hooked up is it's wide and it is completely heavy if we take a look here at the run here it is a I'm gonna probably have to stop that it is a hundred and sixty seven thousand pound load here that's gonna be a very hard one to haul and I'm gonna have to switch to keyboard be or mouse because it's not just working here um, everything is set to go here it's gonna be rough or it's gonna take all of our precision to make everything work here we are going to drop down our rear axle and my most personal favorite here we're gonna go in here we got a little bit of a 700 mile drive so it's not gonna take such a long time. I'm hoping to do this all in one episode. Um, as you can see it just like that. This thing is magnificent and it is massive here. It's going to take a lot of work here. It's going to require all of those axles. And if you can see the beacon lights there, we have one hell of a beacon set up here. So it is going to be a fun one and I am so looking forward to this run here. Uh, we're going to release the brake. We're going to throw it in low, low real quick because we do want to get our tug test in here. Uh, hold down the brake. And, and you can see it is holding it. So we are going to make our way here. Now this is going to require hitting all the corners of everything just right. Like you can do this just trying to pull it out in low, low. You can feel the weight. But this is going to, this is going to require every single turn to be done with extreme precision because this corner right here that's tight and even the entire run out of here is extremely tight so this is going to this is going to take a lot of skill to do here I'm looking forward to taking this load and take this nice and steadily You can just see that thing is rock. I'm gonna hold this right here because we I don't even think we're gonna be able to make that. And this is this is extremely tight. And we made that corner. 
Now we just gotta get this thing straightened out in time. This is something that would require a pilot car here. As you can see, we don't have that. But this is gonna take extreme care to do here. This is extreme truckers here, ladies and gentlemen here. Only the best of the best can probably take a load like this. The truck and the mod, all these mods are available on the Steam Workshop. So be sure to take a look at it on there. And that is absolutely tight. Like, look at that thing trying to come out. Like, that literally is probably very tight. Probably a matter of inches on both sides here. And we're going to be making a right out of here. We do have the front flags, as well as the nice bull bar there. Beacon lights are all running and working nicely here. This is going. To, this will be one of the most gas guzzling runs we have. ourselves going here. One of you guys know we are going to be having a 200 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to be announcing the winner to the 100 subscriber giveaway within the next few days. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when that video does come out. So he's ready here. Luckily, the light was yellow for us to go through. And we do need to plan exactly where we're going to be because we, these turns are going to be complete hell trying to get through. But this is just... You, you, you're gonna, you need all four lanes just to make all these corners here. These are just very tight. If you, be sure to take pictures if you do want to test this out and take out this truck and these trailers. Be sure to take a picture of them and share them and tweet them to me on Twitter at MasterRace9886. Yeah, this is going to be, just getting it to the entrance is just going to be a big pain. Complete oversize, but a magnificent looking run here, so this is going to be so fun to do. Tell you, we are going to be eating up all of our fuel economy here. I remember in my area a few weeks ago, they took a very, I think it was, if I remember reading the news articles correctly, it was right around a million pounds. They're building a new energy plant, and it was the blocked off all the roads and they had like you know three trucks bringing it down the one hill and they had to hook up five trucks to get them up the hill very heavy load and we're going to go through here and this is going to be hopefully we don't have too much in the way of climbs because this is just going to take forever here but it's a fantastic skin for a truck. And we're going to be coming down to, looks like the entrance is going to be up here soon. As I said, this is something that requires a pilot car because this is just such a big trailer.
watch and make sure we watch all of our corners. You can just see that thing shaking right over the ground there. This is just, this is a, this is something. And we are here at our first obstacle here, trying to make this corner. This is gonna be this is gonna be a very interesting one. Because not only is it a long trailer, but it is a long truck itself. And we were able to successfully get it, hopefully get enough. See we get some speed coming down this hill. And I'm not seeing anybody on the road, so that seems pretty good there. Let me know how your day is going down in the comments down below. I'm not going to make you watch the whole trip here. I'll probably end up throwing a break in at some point and come back whenever we have something of interest or we are approaching the drop-off site. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put the break in here and I will see you when we reach our drop-off location. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are approaching one of the spots outside of LA here in California here where it is a slow crawl up the hill. It's a steep hill. We actually have our own dedicated truck lane. I don't you know we're gonna need to be ready to shift into specific gears. As I said, this load is one of those that is only really meant for excise precision. You need to shift at specific moments here. Moments that I haven't even mastered yet. And I don't want to shift, but I'm holding 20. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're holding Okay, we can hold, we're holding it, we're holding it. And I just put my foot down on the worst spot in the pedal, now my foot's hurting. There we go, come on. We're getting there. We are getting there, come on. I'm not, I'm not even shifting up because we're going to slow down right here. And oh, I think we just reached the summit. Nothing too major. However, it is a downhill now. There you go. And we now have what appears to be a four mile downhill. So you're going to need to be careful and watch our speed. We have, um, I think, about 600 miles. Yeah, exactly 600 miles. Wow. left to go and you guys can see I might have put power down there and we're just increasing speed extremely here like our jig brakes not running look at this thing just coming down here might give me a better angle nope alright our jig brake helped a little bit there Oh, this is gonna be. This is gonna be. This is gonna end bad stuff for someone. There we go. Well, that wasn't so bad. This time we got about 600 miles to go. Uh, we're probably gonna have to stop anywhere so somewhere overnight. It's gonna be daytime when we go and deliver this. Thankfully, this is gonna be a pain to deliver at night. But we're going to see here. This is going to be a little bit of a rough challenge here. It's been a while since we did a load of this magnitude. But it is... It's getting there. It's going to go at us. Um, I think our biggest challenge is going to be when we have to fuel up. Because we haven't done half the trip. And we've already burned a fortune of our fuel. So it's going to be interesting. But look at those beacon lights going everywhere and I got 
Okay, that guy had a left turn signal on. This is gonna be this is gonna be a rough night here. We do want to drive this at night because we don't want to run any chances of catching rush hour at all. So we're gonna continue with the run here, and we'll see you later on. Alright, so we are coming up to the wait station here. We're being asked to come in, and this is going to be a very fun one because I honestly don't even know if we're going to be able to make it in there. Taking the fourth gear there. This is going to be a very interesting one because as I said I don't even think we're going to be able to make it in there we just make any kind of height clearances under these signs but this is going to take extreme precision I'm going to throw it in low low because this thing just oh god this is getting tighter and tighter well we're going to we are probably weighing about Two, at least 200,000 pounds, if not more. And, yep, we just got a metal, and I just completely threw it in the wrong gear. How heavy am I? And we are, and we are, there we go. And, as you can see, we are, very tight on that and I definitely took that too close being careful to back this up because we gotta get over the left side a little you see that thing just bounces on every turn we make And we should make it here, I hope. Hopefully that sign's breakable, because we're going to... There we go. And we made it through there with a very heavy weight. Guzzling fuel down. We're going to get this load taken care of here as we continue on with the most impossible run. Ladies and gentlemen, here we're going to be resting up here for the night here. It's going to be the end of this episode here. I wanted to sit there and make it all the way there, but unfortunately this is a very heavy load. And it's taking a lot of time to get delivered here, so we're going to rest up here for the night. It's going to be actually nice because we can actually turn off our beacon lights so they're not constantly running here. We're going to shut down the engine here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys so very much for joining me. Subscribe, comment, and as always, I will see you in the next episode.